Hi, it's James Bay, and thanks to Romeo for this opportunity to be on Most Requested Live. I'm going to start answering your Ask Anything chat questions. Here we go. Maddie from Nashville, who inspired your style of music? Many, many people, Maddie. So many people. Everybody from old soul artists like Ray Charles and Aretha Franklin and Bill Withers, all the way through to like rock and roll bands like the Rolling Stones, people like Bruce Springsteen, pop acts like Michael Jackson and Prince, um, all the way up to people like Kings of Leon, Adele, Ray LaMontagne, all those guys. So lots and lots of artists, uh, and that list is probably about one and a half million times longer than that. Um, but that's as many answers as I can fit in, so I'm going to move on to the next question. Kelly from Antwerp, how excited were you for the Antwerp show in Lotto Arena? I was excited. I was really excited to play that show. It was one of the biggest shows I had ever done, I have ever done. It was over five and a half thousand people. Um, it was a tense time, to be honest, because it was only a few days before that, um, that Brussels had been attacked, and I was quite nervous to bring so many thousands of people into one space at such a tender moment. Um, but everybody came together and... We sang out loud for Brussels in support of them, and it was a wonderful, wonderful night. Lindsay from Lexington. How many hats do you have? Two. Just two. Laura from Barcelona. I've been listening to your album non-stop. Are you working on a second one? Yes, I am. Uh, I guess I've been working on it since I kind of finished the first one. Like, music just continues with most musicians. You just carry on creating, and when there comes a time for me to put together a second album which isn't far away I will do just that Meg from Garland what's your favorite lyric that you've ever written there's a few I don't mean to be narcissistic or big-headed I have a few lyrics that I really am proud of um, there's a lot of lyrics and scars that I really like I really like there's kind of a stupid lyric that I've always liked within if you ever want to be in love um, there's a lyric in the second verse that says you always had something effortless in school you were the biggest deal that kind of really hits home with I guess what school was like for me, and maybe it's what it's like for a lot of people, who knows. Next question. Lily from Fargo, Fargo, North Dakota. Pretty famous in Hollywood, that place. Lily wants to know, if you had to live without one of your five senses, which would you choose and why? If I had to live without one of them, I have no idea. I really like all my senses, and lovely as you are, Lily, you're not forcing me to live without any of them, so I'm just going to not be able to choose one. Uh, and I'm going to completely distort your question into... What superpower would I have if I wanted one? And it would probably be to fly, because who doesn't want to fly? Valentina from Milan. What do you think of the qualities that allowed you to, to, to achieve your success? Being good at music. I guess I'm pretty good at music and writing songs. Um, being nice. If there's one thing that all of this teaches you is just don't be a douchebag. You know, be a nice person, because it doesn't cost anything and it only gets niceness in return. Um... So I think that was one of the big ones, as well as being pretty good at music. Tara from Armada. Kind of rhymes. Quite like that. What's your favourite song to perform off your album? There is no one song that's my favourite. I kind of love them all, if I'm honest with you. Um, lately, I guess, it's been things like Craving. I really enjoy playing that. I really enjoy playing Scars live. Um, but it, it varies. It changes and it varies. <laughs> Paul, I'm just recording something on it. Sorry, really good. Sorry, man. Sorry. Jennifer from Los Angeles, can you please add more tickets to the, sh the LA show on April 10th? Love you. I appreciate the love. That's cool. Um, I do not have the power. I don't have the power to do it. I'm sorry. But I, you know what? I'm going to come back to LA. I think I'm going to come back to LA and do another show there and make sure that it's a much bigger venue. And then hopefully, Jennifer, you will be there too. See you there. Alexander from Zurich. If you could be invisible for 24 hours, what would you do? Ooh, Alexandra. Hmm. Interesting. If I could be invisible for 24 hours. It's a great question. I guess, I, I don't know, maybe I'll go and hang out in, like, studios where some of my favourite artists are working and just watch them, but not mess with their vibe and not, you know, add any pressure. Just spy on how they make their magic. Maybe I'd do that. Yeah. Tamara from Frankfurt, what's your favourite song to perform live? Impossible question, or even asked it. Don't know. Many from Leeds. Who is your support act for your Chaos and Become tour, and why did you choose them? Well, many. There's been loads of support acts so far. Why did I choose them? Because they're some of my favourite new music out there right now. 
live and on record. Francis, incredible songs, great stage presence. Um, uh, who else? Sorry, Cody, I'll be with you in a bit. I'll do that one again. Many from Leeds, who was your favourite support act for your Chaos on the Calm Tour, and why did you choose them? I've had many support acts for my Chaos on the Calm Tour, and why did I choose them? Because I think they're great. Francis is one, I think it's brilliant, beautiful songs, very sort of piano-led music, gorgeous voice. Roxana Maurice, she's been supporting me in Europe, she's incredible. Massive songs, massive voice, great stage presence. Um, who else have I had that I love them? Sam Henshaw, check out him, he's great. Tor Miller, he's a great support act as well. Uh, well, a great artist in his own right, and he's, they've been great support acts, so check them out. Anna from Montreal, what life advice would you give to your fans? Hang on one second. Hello. He's, 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 I've just got to record something. He's, he's out there. I'll, I'll, I'll send him your way. Okay. Sorry, really boring. Okay. Anna from Montreal, what life advice would you give your fans? Be nice. Love people. It doesn't hurt. It's a wonderful thing to do. And you should only get it in return. And if the people that you give it to don't give it back, go and find some new people to give it to because they'll probably give it back. Later from Madrid. Later from Madrid. Favorite movie actor slash actress. Too many answers to that question to get deep into it. I'm a thinker, and I'm really bad at decisions. So I'll just give you loads and loads and loads and loads of answers. I'll get back to you later. Great name. Carol from Nottingham. Hi James. Which of your fellow musicians do you most admire? It's just such a wide open question. I can't give you one answer. There's never one answer. I guess if you're creative, you'd know. That you can't really decide on one thing. Your your creative mind changes itself all the time. So, sorry, Carol. Thank you for your question, but there's too many answers. Bianca from Videli. Tell me three words that define you. I don't know. Erin from Hollywood. I live in Hollywood. I'm past Disney all the time. Have you visited it yet? What were your thoughts? Uh, Disney in Hollywood. No, I haven't visited it. But when I do, I'll let you know. Bianca from Fr from Fremont. If you had the opportunity to go out to dinner with anyone, dead or alive, who would you choose and why? James Baldwin. James Baldwin was a great author, a great speaker, fantastic mind, a fascinating man. I've read loads of his books and I've watched a few of his interviews and I would love to chat to him. Or just listen to him talk about his opinions on the world. It seems pretty interesting. V Viviana from Houston. You've had an amazing past year. Is there anything that has, that has happened in that year that has inspired an idea for a song? Yes, there is. I'm not very good at revealing these kind of things because the songs aren't ready yet. So when they're ready, ask me that question again and I'll connect the dots for you. Georgina from Girona. Favourite song of Chaos in the Car? Mine is Collide. And Scars, I Need a Sun to Break. And Truly, Truly's not a song on my album. You've named many songs and I can't name one either. So I know how you feel, Georgina. Jolene from Stockton. What's your favourite soccer team? Newcastle United. The Toon Army. Check them out. They're brilliant. Sophie from Hull. Do you actually realise how chiselled your cheekbones and jawline actually is? Please cut me with your jawline. That's really weird. Charlie from York. What hobbies do you have apart from music? Football. Soccer. No, you're from York, so if that's the UK, then you know what I mean by football. Real football. I like drawing as well. I like doing that. I like painting. Stuff like that, yeah. It's kind of different to music. You know, it's far enough removed that I can take my mind off music and it can feel like something completely separate. And I can escape from work, as much as I love my work. Michelle from Phoenix. Have you ever thought of covering the song that turned you onto the guitar, Layla? Yes, I have. I just don't know when to drop it in yet. You'll see. Elaine from Fontana. If you were shampoo, what fragrance would you be? That's just a weird question. Carolina from London. What products? Questions about shampoo kind of suck. Sorry, guys. Eleanor from Manchester, I already have your last name, but would you consider marrying me? Uh, I don't know you. You're just a name on the screen. I can't go off that, sorry. Yolanda from the Netherlands, do you take anything from home on tour to make it feel more comfortable in your hotel room? Guitars. Guitars and clothes, that's all I need. I kind of like the adventure of different hotels in different parts of the world. Thanks again to Romeo and Most Requested Live for giving me the time to answer your questions. I can't th thank the fans enough for their support. Thank you, guys.